So when the game starts, we obviously want the walls painted. We want the snake painted in the board with the initial position of the snake. And we want to have a few bonuses painted along the board as well. So let's do that all in the form load event. Now the first thing we need to do before we can even draw anything, we need to instantiate new object of our picture box. So our picture game board, and we'll set the image of it, and it says it gets or sets the image that's displayed by the picture box. And the one that we want to display is a new bitmap, but it's gonna be a new bitmap with the size of the 420 by 420. So this prepares the picture box to display the images in it. So now we can create the graphics and the graphics is in the G variable and we'll set it to graphics dot and we want to get the graphics from the images. So there is a method for graphics that says from images, that's how it's called and it creates a new graphics from the specified image. So let's use that and the image we want is the bitmap we just created. So that's going to be the picture game board. And we want the image itself. So again, we create a new bitmap, 420 by 420, and we'll set our picture game board image property to it. Then we'll create the graphics from this image, and the image comes obviously from the picture game board and from the property image of our picture game board. But we don't want anything in it just yet. All we want is to clear everything and paint everything with a certain color of our background. And in this case, I'll just make it white. So let's do g.clear. And as you can see, this clears the entire drawing surface and fills it with a specified background color. That's exactly what we want. We want to fill it all with color white. So we will be painting two sets of walls. We will be painting the walls along the X axis. So it's going to be the top and bottom one and along the Y axis, which is going to be the left and the right one. Now note that the corners kind of belong to both. So we have to simply decide when we are going to paint it. Are we going to paint it with the X axis or with the Y axis? But we only have to paint it once, obviously. We are going to create two loops one that will paint the x-axis and let's say we can loop from 1 to 10 as well as for the bottom one from 1 to 10 and then we will paint the y-axis and those we will paint from 0 to 11 so that will paint the corner bricks as well so let's do the first for loop for the x-axis so the integer i and again we start from 1 in this case and i is less or equal to 10, we'll go from 1 to 10, and I++. So this is our vault on the top and the bottom, so let me just comment that. And now we can use the graphics to draw the image. So I'll use the G for the graphics, draw image, and you can see that it draws the specified image using its original physical size, which in our case is 35 pixels, at the specified location. So that's exactly what we want. And the image we want is coming from our image list. So EMG, IMG list. And we want the image with the wall. So let's have a look. I'll go to the form design again. I'll click on the image list and the little triangle here and choose images. And you can see the wall image is the index six in our image list. So that's the one we will be using. So you want the image list dot images and the image, like I said, we want with the index of six. So that's the image we want. Now we have to specify the point where we want it positioned. So first we are drawing the top wall and the top wall moves from left to right. So we start from index I, which at the beginning of the loop would be one. And then we will move 35 pixels with each image or with each iteration. So we will multiply it by 35. And the Y coordinates is zero because we are moving along the zero coordinates of the Y. So let's have a look. So we start from position one, 
and we move 35 pixels to the right, then another 35 pixels. That's why we are multiplying i with 35. So with the first iteration, we'll draw the break for coordinates 1, which is our i in our loop, and 0, which is the y coordinates that doesn't change. And then we'll move 35 pixels to the right and draw the other one. And then 35 pixels to the right and draw the third brick and so forth. And we'll do the same for the bottom wall, except this time we have to start all the way on the bottom. So we have to account for the height of the game board. So I'm gonna copy this and the bottom wall will have again the same image, which is the wall. And again, we are moving 35 pixels to the right. So we will leave i multiplied by 35. But on our y coordinate, we actually start 385 pixels down. Why 385 pixels? Well, because we have 10 bricks, each 35 pixels, which obviously is 350 pixels. And then we'll have one more, which is another 35 pixels, and that is 385. Remember, we start counting all the way from the top and moving down. 385 pixels is the top edge of the break in the last row. And then we'll obviously paint 35 pixels square. So this is the top and bottom walls. I'm gonna copy the whole loop and let's do the left and right. So this one's gonna be left and right. So in this case, we need to also account for the corner bricks and therefore we'll start from i equals zero and we'll go all the way to the end, which is the 11, zero to 11. And once again, we are drawing the image number six in our image list. But this time, if you look at it, you can see that the first on the left, we are moving along the zero axis for the x. And we are moving down, so with each iteration, the y coordinates will increase. So our x coordinate will be zero, and it's gonna be i multiplied by 35, that now is our y coordinate. So this is the left wall and the right wall. Again, we have to account for the size of the board. So once again, we are moving 385 pixels, but this time we are moving 385 pixels to the right. So our x will be 385 pixels, and it's gonna be i multiplied by 35 for our y coordinates. So let's see what we get. And here is our wall. You can see that it is nicely drawn. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 by 10 is the playable fields or the playable game board, but we have actually 12 by 12 when it comes to the bricks as well. So next we can start placing our bonus and our snake onto the game board.